Today we're making buffalo chicken pull apart bread and I love sharing bread recipes like this one because they serve as the perfect appetizer and they come out perfect pretty much every time so this is how you make it. You want to begin with about six to eight chicken tenders. You can use chicken thighs if you want but they don't tend to shred very well so keep that in mind. And then you're going to add in all of your seasonings as well as a third cup of olive oil. Make sure everything is nice and coated and then you're going to set it to the side. Go ahead and grab a pan and we're going to cook our chicken for about six minutes on each side. You can add a cooking spray if you'd like. I didn't feel like I needed it just because of the olive oil in our little coating. But once your chicken is fully cooked, you want to go ahead and add it to a mixer and we're going to shred it this way. It's so much easier and it shreds the chicken in like two seconds. Now to our shredded chicken, we're going to add a half a cup of buffalo sauce, two tablespoons of vinegar as well as six tablespoons of melted butter and set it to the side. Now for our dough, we're going to add one cup of warm water, one tablespoon of active dry yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, as well as one cup of AP flour. Mix everything together and let it rest for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, you're going to add in the rest of your ingredients. And then you can knead it by hand if you'd like. I did that in this video just to show you guys that it's possible. Or you can use a mixer if you don't feel like getting messy. It's fine. Um, but you want to knead it until it's nice and smooth like this for about 10 minutes. Separate your dough into about 8 sections and you're going to let them rest for 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes go ahead and stuff it with your buffalo chicken as well as any cheese that you like and then you're going to add it to a prepared baking sheet. Brush it with some egg wash and you're going to bake it at 365 for 20 minutes. Take it out of the oven, cover with foil and bake for another 10 minutes. Also, while my bread was baking, I went ahead and mixed up this little butter mixture. I'll have everything on the screen for you guys but you basically just want to lather it on once it's fresh out of the oven and you're done. Also, side note, I hated the cheese pull that I did in this video. I just knew you guys probably would have wanted to see it, but whatever.